All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, man, I got a pair of headphones that I recently acquired and I needed to do an unboxing and a quick view or a review of this. You can kind of take it how you want it. If you guys have any questions, I'm gonna tell you now. Timestamps, I'm gonna try to put them down in the description and you can leave any of your questions in the comment section. Um, so if you guys don't know, I have made a couple of headphone reviews on my channel. Corsair was kind of the brand that I went towards. I've got a pair of uh, RIGs that I did also, but these guys in particular caught my interest because they have some form of noise canceling. Now, I was utilizing the AirPod Pros, currently getting back into the gym. The problem with the AirPod Pros that I have is that sometimes they do come out of my ears. They do, however, have different size tips, and I'm not looking to do like a comparison to those or not, but what I want is just something over the ear that's gonna you know, make it so that I can go to the gym, listen to whatever content, and these, from the appearance of the box and everything that's on the box appear to have a lot of similarities with the Corsair Virtuoso, the S XT models. Um, those like this does appear to offer you two forms of wireless connectivity. So you have wireless, which is gonna be using a USB-C dongle that is included here, as well as Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and transition so I can get this thing cracked open. Yeah, so open this on up guys. So we're gonna go through the whole melodramatic unboxing and such. Take a look at the contents. See everything that we have here. I'm not biased to one brand. I'm biased to whatever piece technology is gonna work for me. So Barracuda Pro. Let's look at the front box. Look at the rear of the box. Let's see how I can get this thing open. All right, so it's got a slide there. Very nice for the box collectors. Game everywhere. Here, nothing else. Their whole commitment to going green and such. So, all right. Presentation is very nice. Typically, they do give you stickers or something like that. So let's just see what's in here. Welcome letter. And then you do have a manual. Okay, I won't show that because this is a um, a card barcode that has some kind of redeemable stuff and like natural they do give you stickers the manual does have some images there kind of walk you through everything but I don't feel the need to have to show that presentation is really good though I like I like the way this packaging is all put together all right so this guy does Come with like a protective case, nice material. Scratching it, I'm not seeing anything there. Logo is there in black. This side has nothing. You do, looks like you've got two, two zippers. All right, so probably end up opening and closing it like one of these where briefcase style it'll just come in the middle and then you have this tab right here for you to be able to kind of latch it on to something go ahead and get into these all right here are the headphones so all blacked out these look really nice wow these look really nice man i'm not gonna lie these boys look good all right so before we continue on with me um opening this up and getting connectivity and things like that i want to tell you guys that there's a couple of different headphones that i thought about getting i thought about getting the um bose qc 35s those are over the ear they kind of look similar um, in that they're all black 
you can get those in different colors. I also thought about getting Sony's flagship. Now, both of those headphones, respectfully, are going to cost you about $300 to $350, give or take, if they're on sale. These I managed to get for around $170, well, $170, $170 about $170 bucks I paid for these. Um, so I think this was a great deal. Now, I'm not sure how good they're going to sound. The Cors Corsair Virtuosos were cool headsets. Um, you know, the, that, that pair of headphones, though, is it's really going to cater to like the person that's trying to game. The noise canceling is what I think may make this an actually good headset for me to be able to take from different places and such. Um, so let's go ahead and finish up. Right. So, yeah, um, I'm liking the way this this looks and feels very nice. The logo, you can actually feel the the design there. Um, this whole design is nice, man. So you got a pull tab here. It is magnetic. You got a couple of cables here. So it's going to be USB A to USB C female, USB A male to female USB C. Um, acts as kind of a pass through. And then you're going to have an actual USB A male to USB uh, C male. Um, that's going to be another option too. And then inside of this pouch, you do have the actual dongle. This dongle is what is required for you to be able to plug this up to um, either a PlayStation 5. Uh, the PS5 um, does, like the PS4, transfers audio through HDMI. Um, so you can plug this directly into the front of the PS5 console or you can essentially go into this coupler here you can go there and if you've got your your console set into like a a glass stand or something to that effect this will ensure that you do have the the uh connection available to be touched so let's do an on head test All right man so gonna try this on my big head <laughs> Um, if you guys got like an afro or whatnot, I don't know how well these would do if I had my hair out, not sure. So this is about as far as it goes. Headsets do go like that. They don't really go the opposite way. Um, so wearing them like this with razor facing in that direction, um, going to be left and right. So. They feel pretty comfortable. Um, doesn't feel snug at all, actually. You do have the um, Infinity Volume Wheel here, so in app or in 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 headphone sound is probably going to tell you when you're maxed out or at a lower. You have a microphone mute button here. It's kind of a push spring. Not sure how I feel about that. Feels that feels that part feels kind of cheap, but it is what it is. Your power button's right here too. Um, so yeah, they feel good. Like these do feel really good. Nice padding here. You don't have padding on the side here, but you do have it in the top of your head. So if you got like a, a low cut or like me, I wear braids. Um, being able to have this on, if I needed to tighten it up around the ears it feels very comfortable but like these have a good feel to them like sincerely feels nice and tight like i don't know it just feels good so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing connected and and tell you guys about all right man so we're gonna test this out uh, apparently it has three different modes so with the press of the right button you get ambient sound and I can hear like myself. So those microphones are picking up everything, like everything. So you think you'd be led to believe that it might be playing like a waterfall sound or something, but it's just really picking up everything. I can hear myself speaking really well, which I'm actually interested in testing the mic because uh, I can hear myself good. So everything I can hear really well, um, press it again. We got ANC on, so this is the noise canceling, and this is this is not bad. It's pretty good. Um, 
I can't like I'm not the most well versed to speak fluently on headphones, but this is what I was looking for. I was looking for over the ear and something that's going to give me noise canceling so that I can listen to my music and it not be a problem. And then lastly, you have ANC off, which is just going to be kind of your your sound like I can't hear. I can hear myself, but not as well, because obviously my ears are padded, but I still am talking. Right. So the three different configurations there with the press of the right ear. Um, really nice All right so i don't know i hope i'm not yelling okay they sound pretty good um so connection is not too bad it's pretty simplistic bluetooth um they have a game mode which um lowers the latency depending on what you're listening to um so far like what i needed these for was really for me to be able to have a pair of good headphones that were over the ear that I could utilize in different scenarios. So pretty much the ability for me to, you know, have these, if I can get decent sounding music and at the same time be able to do something like gaming, that's totally cool. Um, sound quality and volume is about as loud as AirPod Pros for me. They do have they as in Razer. They have a raise. They have um, an audio app. Gives you some different equalization presets and such. So you do have different things like that that you can go in. The default sound when I'm turning it up, I listen to a lot of like rap, bassy music. Um, the bass sound kind of distorted, but once I adjusted it to the musical preset, that was pretty good. Um, you do have a custom, you know, setting in the equalizer. Where you can go through and you can kind of dial in different frequencies but i'm not here to review or talk about the um the the application uh it does tell you your battery time so i've got like 64 percent battery on my unit right now um so there's some other features the application be it you have ios or android is definitely something you're going to need um so for the gaming side of things now i can't give a real review of these yet because i haven't had them long enough i just got them like last week it was today was the day i've been putting out tv content on the channel but i was like man i gotta get these things utilized because to go to the gym i want to have over the ear to use so to test them on gaming i will utilize the dongle and uh in the next um you know transition i'll right, get them connected so to my, my modern my, Nintendo switch, my modern right switch. um you know the switch with uh later updates does have bluetooth audio so this guy is just going to go into bottom of the switch like so um it's just most simplistic for me to test this on the switch i actually like the way that that dongle looks just sitting on the switch this is obviously not the oled we've did an, an oled switch review and i got an oled switch for two of my sons um you know but this is like a gen one day one switch uh, that i got modded so that i could try different games first um once that is applied obviously going into the settings of the switch um putting myself in a position where i can go to um bluetooth audio and then i'll synchronize it so i'm gonna get it connected and be right all back. right guys so got it connected um i'm gonna be honest noise canceling is probably gonna be like my favorite feature with this headset so after connecting it to the switch you have two volume control options so dialing this this wheel in this direction turns the volume down from here um you have a max here. You do get a beep when you turn it all the way up. But the Nintendo Switch, unlike with the cell phone, is not like a master audio connection. Um, so you've got you've got audio with the Switch as well as audio with the headset. Um, so got Shredder's Revenge going, but it sounds good. Um, the one thing, obviously, number one, you're not listening to music. Um, so you're, unlike you using an Android or an iOS device, you're not going to have the ability to utilize their app. So if you enter like a specific kind of preset for audio, that's not going to be possible. Turning the noise canceling off and being able to go to like an ambient sound like now I can hear everything. Um, it's pretty cool. And even with the ambient sound, like, I can hear really good with this. 
So these are really dope. Now, I'm not going to be able to give you guys a full review of this this headset what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna revisit it this isn't a pair of headphones i'm gonna get rid of these are definitely like worth what i paid for them because the noise canceling is great they're comfortable and i can use them on things like the switch i can use them on the playstation i can even connect these to my television so in the future going forward i will be revisiting these so i can do like more of a an up-to-date type of thing um, but let me know if you guys got any questions if you're interested in these what kind of headphones might you be rocking? Are you rocking AirPods? Are you rocking Galaxy Buds? I don't have a problem with Buds, but I wanted something that was over the ear and something that gave me noise canceling. When I do my next update, I can't say when it's gonna be, but I am gonna be looking at things like seeing how well this material holds up. Um, I am gonna be testing like battery just to kind of see what my experience has been like with the battery. But these things, they, they really check a lot of different boxes for me, guys. Let me know what you think. I appreciate the support. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment if you got a question. Subscribe if you have not. I just set up a ton of different playlists on the channel. So go through the catalog, check it out. Catch you guys on the next one. Max love.